After the dry, a sudden deluge, taking many by surprise. The whole place is flooded. Uh, it's, it's sort of like a war zone. You know, it's just unbelievable. Wow. Suburbs including Butler and Clarkson were lashed with rain and hail with little time to prepare. It was uh, only around 1 o'clock this afternoon where, or 10 past 1 where the Weather Bureau issued an immediate severe weather warning. What also was unforecast was the level of rain that, we, that has occurred. The thunder started it, I think, and then a bit of rain, and I was just like, oh, it's a bit of rain, you know, we need it anyway, and then it just got worse and worse. In some areas, up to 130 millimetres was recorded in under an hour. <coughs> Authorities logged dozens of calls for help and assisted a number of elderly people stranded in cars by the floodwaters. I was doing 40 coming along the Wanneroo Road, petrified, and the hailstones, and then I turned into here thinking, thank God I'm nearly home. Others pushed on and regretted it. I just live around the corner there. <laughs> Uh, so I just thought I would like give it a go, but clearly it was a bit too deep for me and it just sucked in all the water. The roof of this shopping centre in Clarkson collapsed under the strain. Thousands of homes briefly lost electricity after major power lines in Yanship and Two Rocks were damaged. This low-lying intersection in Clarkson was one of the worst hit areas with water pouring from surrounding roads, threatening homes and flooding cars. What we're doing at this stage is looking at options that we've got open to us in regards to removing that water and also preparing homes for flooding if required. Some made the most of the storm, others just trying to get home. Herlin Call, ABC News.